for LGBTQ plus where mm -hmm. um, someone had tweeted, they replied to JK Rowling had tweeted something that was supposed to be evidence against like being transgender. And so someone who replied to that is like, oh, so when Emma and Dan like come back to you because of all of this, like this facts, then you're going to open them with welcome hands. And she's like, no, I'm not. Um, but yeah, we have Rick writing non-binary characters because he's sad he didn't do more for them as a teacher. Like, yeah, like um, I was, I said this to you, but I'll just say it again, that um, the Magnus Chase series is his series he did with um, Nordic, Nordic gods. And so Loki is somebody in that series he's a character in the series anyway and thor is as well the series is actually them trying to help thor get his hammer back okay. and um but the like person that's his like best friend that's also like his kind of like love interest person is lo a loki kid and so she's gender fluid because if you were gen if you were a loki child you were going to be gender fluid to the max and so yeah. those i only read the first book because after I read the first one was when I just like stopped reading for many years. It wasn't because I didn't enjoy it, but like the character's name I think is Alex mm -hmm. and she is, or they are like, like I remember those books, that book, the first book in that series came out in 2015. And so for younger people, 2015 was the year that gay marriage was made legal in the United States. Like, that it doesn't feel like that was that long ago, but like LGBT like rights and especially with like transness, like the idea of like different genders has progressed a lot since those years. That was like reading those, that book was literally the first time that I've ever, that I ever saw a gender fluid character ever. And like, it, I didn't even like before, like I consider myself gender fluid and I didn't actually understand what gender fluid even really meant by that point. And like reading that book, I was like, oh, like in the book version, she like literally, or they can literally like change like what whether they're like male or female presenting on the day because she's a Loki like kid and it's magical and that can happen. But like, it's just part of her character and she's a love interest. Like Magnus is Annabeth's cousin. <laughs> His name is Magnus Chase and he's, and like, like that's who he ends up with is yeah. gender fluid person. And so it's like, here's Rick Riordan writing a series where like the, where like the fem like female, I guess, character or like love interest is gender fluid. And it's just like a part of her character. Like people don't talk about it as if it's weird or different or strange. It's just accepted as because she's a Loki child, obviously that's how she's gonna be. And you have like Rick Riordan writing blogs and stuff talking about how he wants people to feel accepted like um nico is gay and you don't you probably don't know you might not know that yet but they there's a whole storyline in hero of olympus that came out around the same time like the last year of olympus book came out in 2015 as well and in that book is when um nico gets outed by cupid because cupid is a fucking asshole and and is like forced he is forced to tell them that he's gay and that he had a crush on percy and that because everyone thought that he had a crush on annabeth because he didn't like annabeth but then cupid forces him in order for them to get something they need for like their quest to admit that he didn't like annabeth because he was jealous that she got to be with percy and that he actually had like an idealized like crush or whatever on Percy. And he had a lot of internalized homophobia because he grew up in the 1930s um, and is like, and is afraid, like he literally is afraid that the kids will like not want to be around him anymore. And like the other characters are like, no, if anyone does that to you, we'll fucking kick their ass basically is what they say. But like, yeah. He has an entire book later on with him and his boyfriend and his boyfriend will is in the books and is like bisexual <laughs> and it's just like they like with Rick Riordan books, you could basically canonize anyone as being part of the queer community and Rick Riordan will be like yeah that's fine. I don't care yeah. like literally think whatever you want to think he's basically said that before and I wouldn't and like as more time goes on, he will probably make more people the different identities and things like that in that world because yeah that makes sense and it's just it's wild to see like jk rowling be like 
Daniel Radcliffe should apologize to me because I, because I cast him in this movie when he was 11. <laughs> Yeah, or and that, that, or even like, just Emma Watson should be. And it's like they never. The, the wild thing about that whole comment is that Daniel Radcliffe and Emma Watson are both. They're both very intelligent kids. Like when the when the Harry Potter movies were being made, it was funny. Like reading interviews with like some of the older kids that would be on set with them, because they would talk about how the two of them would get in like these very intense like philosophical like existential like discussions about like serious topics that you wouldn't think like two 14 year olds would be arguing about like they would sometimes argue about like serious things and not talk to each other for hours because of this discussion they were having and so like i don't know what would make you think that two kids like that would be okay with you being transphobic but it's also the thing that neither one of them has like expressly come out and like objectively just said jk rowling is a bitch and or like anything they've like said that they support the trans community over and over and over again and like obviously they feel like they need to say that to her, like yeah. counteract her and so that people like there are people on the cast like tom felton that are also transphobic and try to like defend he's weirdly being a villain like, okay, like, just go with your character. Okay, you were casted right, I guess. Yeah, but like, so they, they like, Dan, like, Daniel Radcliffe, I saw, made, like, a statement where he just talked about how he's worked with the Trevor Project for years, and he just, like, lists all the statistics about people, like, the high rates of, like, suicidality around trans people when they aren't allowed to, like, say what their identity is and have to pretend like they're not, and, and all this kind of stuff. And so, like, neither one of them have even like come out and said anything mean to her and so it's like where are you why are you saying these yeah, comments? you knew these people when they were like nine like yeah, what like, are you doing lady and like yeah they became famous because they were a part of your franchise but that's seen as almost like a bad thing at this point because everyone hates you yeah like Warner Brothers is literally trying to like redo a movie series that just ended fifth like 10 years ago because nobody wants to watch things involving you. And they're hoping that if they redo it with completely new actors, that little kids won't realize that a transphobic monster is getting all the money from it because all the adults know that by this point and don't want to be involved anymore. And it's just like wild to me that she feels like they owe her anything at all. Like you're a billionaire, like yeah. you're a billion. She makes so much money off of all of the Harry Potter, like merch. Everything, and yeah. Like she like made deals to make sure she made as much money as possible with everything, even like the parks and stuff. And so it's like, you make a disgusting amount of money and you use the money you make to try to kill trans people. And you think that these people that you cast in a movie when they were little kids owe you anything at all because they don't want to be associated with that. Like the thing that with JK Rowling that I always get really mad about because she tries to she tries to justify what she does because she was um, sexually assaulted by the guy that she made Ron off of, the abusive relationship she was in. What does um, that have to do with trans people though? <laughs> Cause well, it's like a whole thing of like, they're, sec they're afraid of men. Like that's the whole weird thing with like TERFs is that they're actually afraid of men. So they think that women, like trans women are never actually women, they're men. And so they feel like, men are like dangerous and predatory and are going into like bathrooms or places where women are supposed to be to like pr be predatory towards women in a, like a new way and they're basically putting like the trauma they've been on they've been through with like cis men cis straight men onto everyone else but cis straight men and so like the part of that tweet that drove me up the wall that i knew i needed to rant about was like her saying something about women who need women only spaces and i was just like is this like a weird assumption of like like i'm a rape victim many times over i would feel safer with trans people than turfs so like what women only space are you talking about where trans women women being there would somehow be bad like if me who grew up being like that for many 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 years 
yeah. by someone I lived with on a daily basis most of the time don't feel the need for that in that way by like literally show me your genitals before I will hang out with you then why are you like that like you're a billionaire you don't have to be around people you can literally pay people to leave you alone <laughs> so like what are you talking about what like she could go full on Jennifer Lopez and go out and like, don't look at me, don't talk to me. Um, she does like where she lives in like Scotland, like she never leaves her house or goes anywhere or does anything. She complains about like how much taxes she has to pay and things like that, but because she's horrible, but like, I don't, I hate the idea that Turfs use that like to try to justify the hatred that they do to be like, oh, well, some women are sexually abused. And it's like, that's nice. Some women out there could be sexually abused by other women. Yeah. Have you met lesbians? That happens to them sometimes. And like, so it's like that, and like outside of lesbianism, it happens too. But I'm just using that as an example because I know she's tried to like be friends with horrible turfy lesbians in the past too. But it's just like, they don't think about anything else but that. They just think like, oh, well, all men have to be predatory. So if you're a man pretending to be a woman, you have to be doing it only to get close to women to hurt them. And it's like, I don't under, I will never understand how people like her end up like that. Because it's like, you would think that somebody like me with my history would end up like that. And I could not be less like that. So it's like, why are you like this? Yeah. And it's like, I mean, so she wrote men pretending to be women into her books. She, after the fact, queered Dumbledore. And like, that's not in the books at all. What I, from my knowledge, because I never watched any of the like prequel movies, I'm pretty sure they didn't even put it in that, even though there's a Grindelwald movie. I didn't like, watch any of those movies either, but that was like the big thing that people were losing their fucking minds over is that she did an entire movie about like Dumbledore when he was younger and the guy that was his boyfriend. But in that movie, like magically, somehow they're not gay on screen and it never magically comes up. And why is then why did you make him gay? Yeah, so it was all just lip service from the beginning. And unlike mm -hmm. unlike Rick, who was like, actually, I I love queer people. I have had queer students and I feel bad that I did not do enough for them. Like he is an angel compared to her when it comes to this whole issue. Yeah, he is a he's such a sweetheart when it comes to that and that and the thing that I know I said this in like one of our first episodes, I said that Rick is somebody that is not perfect. He makes mistakes, but he also is open to hearing what those yeah. mistakes are and is open to like changing. And he does that. Like he, he like realizes like, okay, yeah, a lot of my books had a lot of straight people in them. So now let's like make whoever you want queer and let's make like Nico is like, let's make Nico and Will, like, gay or bisexual. Let's have, like, gender fluid characters. Let's do whatever you want. And the sexuality of, like, the all the other characters are pretty much up in the air. And mm -hmm. he, like, will listen to what fans say about why we think that person might be this identity or whatever. And if it makes sense to him, he'll con he actually thinks about it and will, like, might put it in his story. As opposed to J.K. Rowling, who just, like, mocks you. <laughs> Basically, yeah. if you even have a different idea about her story than what she wants, and everybody is so fucking straight. And like, Wolf Star is the biggest example of that, right? Where everybody loves the idea of Remus and Lupin being in love, but no, no, we can't have that. We're going to have Lupin fall in love with a girl that's much younger than her, and they're both going to die, and Sirius is going to die alone. <laughs> yeah, to the point that, like, J.K. Rowling hated the marauders like fan fiction so much back in the day like she was like threatening to like sue people over it oh in like the early 2000s when there were people still threatening stuff like that she hated that so much and it's like then like you wrote you wrote a story where a bunch of teenage boys who all are going through hard times all become like can like may become animals and they become animals because their best friend is a werewolf and so they become animals so, to make him feel better about doing that and you didn't think that any teenage girl out there would read that and be like i want them to kiss like they literally changed their dna and sirius is the one who gets the closest to a wolf yes. yeah like okay I, I do have to go because i have a guest over and it sounds like my nephew woke up from his nap so okay.